I am Jonathan Miner. I'm a pediatric sports medicine physician here at uh, Chalk Children's Hospital. And today we are going to be talking about knee injuries. So the difference between a tear and a sprain, particularly when it comes to ligaments, are uh, sprain is essentially a couple of fibers that can be torn and a stretch of the ligament versus a tear that is a complete tear of all of those fibers of the ligament. A common, uh, particularly ACL injury, is uh, a collapse of the knee, where the knee actually falls inward, um, putting stress on the medial aspect of the knee and oftentimes actually tearing the ACL. Meniscus injuries are oftentimes involved with a, a planted foot and a twisting mechanism, and a hyperextension injury can result in ligament, tendon, or cartilage injuries. Most commonly, rest is the most appropriate, along with ice compression and elevation to try to treat any swelling. Oftentimes, if somebody is still having pain and persistence of swelling for several days, and especially outwards of two, one to two weeks, and they're still not able to walk, that definitely becomes a time when it's worth seeing a physician. Most ligaments will heal on their own, such as a medial collateral or lateral collateral ligament. However, if the anterior or posterior cruciate ligaments are torn, um, those ligaments are so important for knee stability that they oftentimes require reconstruction. With reconstruction, the surgeon will actually harvest most commonly the hamstring tendon or part of the patellar tendon uh, and use that to actually create the new anterior cruciate ligament. After a knee injury, the long-term outlook is variable. If there's just a sprain, oftentimes physical therapy and restoring uh, full muscle strength of the knee, an athlete can oftentimes return back to their level of sport within uh, two to four weeks of the injury and also without any long-term consequences. For an ACL tear or something requiring surgery, upwards of 50 to 60 percent of high school or younger athletes may not actually return back to their previous level of participation, at least at the same sport that they were injured in. Long-term complications of particularly the ACL tear are early onset arthritis, which oftentimes we can see early evidence of arthritis on x-rays beginning 10 to 15 years after their ACL reconstruction surgery. And many of these young adults will also have sometimes chronic pain. They'll actually have the symptoms of arthritis with pain and swelling at that 10 to 15 year mark as well.